Hello, my name is Ardi and let's solve problem 7.23 from Sadiku book. So the question is consider the circuit in figure 7.100T given that V00 is 10 volt and V0 and Vx, find V0 and Vx for T is greater than 0. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. And I think I can see this 1 ohm in series with 3 ohm and then that series resistor is in parallel with 2 ohm so let's calculate the total resistance first so i will have the r is equal to 3 is in series with 1 so 3 plus 1 and that 1 will be in parallel with 2 ohm okay so 3 plus 1 is 4 4 parallel with 2 but then if we write it in the arithmetic notation, we will have 4 times 2 divided by 4 plus 2. And this will be 8 divided by 6. And this means that this is 4 over 3 ohm. So I don't want to convert this into decimal first. But so we can... We can simplify this circuit like this, right? So let's simplify our circuit here. What is the R? The R is 4 over 3 ohm. So I'll have 4 over 3 ohm. And then I will have one third Henry inductor here. So I want that to be one third Henry. And this is our simplified circuit. Okay, I want to do KVL at this loop here. Let's name this loop as I. Because we can then find out the V0 here. Because V0 is the voltage across this resistor and also across this inductor. Because they are the same because they are in parallel so what can we do is we do kvl at loop i let's do kvl at loop i kvl said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero so first we will have four over three of the resistor so i'll have four over three because this is a resistance, to convert it into voltage, we multiply it by the current because of Ohm's law. Okay, and then plus this inductor here. Remember, the voltage in the inductor, V, is equal to L di dt. Okay, so we'll have one third of a Henry. So that means that I will have one third. And then di dt. All of that will equal to zero. Okay. Now we can multiply both sides by three. So we will have 4i. And then plus di over dt. And that will equal to zero. Okay, now we will have di over dt is equal to minus 4. Okay, now this is a separable differential equation. Let's put that. di over i is equal to minus 40. Let's integrate both sides. So I will have the natural log of i is equal to minus 40 plus some constant or we can rewrite this as i t is equal to uh, e to the minus 40 plus some constant or we can rewrite it as e to the c and e to the minus 40 but then e to the c is just a constant so we can rewrite that as a Okay, now this is an important function, but we still need to find out the value of A. Okay, our slide is full. Let's clean up them and find out what A is. Okay, so far we get IT from here, but we 
need to find out this a here. We are given that V0, 0, 0 is equal to 10 volt. Okay, and from this simplified circuit, we can, we can, what? We can find out this I0, right? So, P0, 0 is 10. P0, 0 is equal to 10. But then, that means that I0 is equal to, this is, the current here we can just use ohm's law right so that will be v0 0, 0 divided by 4 over 3 so v0 0, 0 is just 10 and then divided by 4 over 3 3 can move to the numerator so i will have 30 divided by 4 therefore i0 will equal to 7.5 Okay, but then we can plug this I0 into this function here. So I will have A, E to the minus 4 multiplied by 0. That will equal to 7.5. Or A, E to the minus 0 is equal to 7.5. E to the 0 is just 1. So I will have A multiplied by 1 is equal to 7.4. 7.5 therefore a is equal to 7.5 okay now we get it it is equal to 7.5 e to the minus 40 and the unit will be ampere here but then the question is not asked about it but vt and vx okay let's find that out Okay, I think I made some mistakes here. This is minus, I think. So, I have the current here. The direction should be on the opposite. But that will be only the sign here. So, I will have it like this. And let's move it that. So, I just missed the negative sign here. So, this is minus 7.5 e to the minus 40 so it is like this okay now let's find out v0 and vx okay now v0 t okay v0 t we can just use ohm's law here because that will be 4 over 3 uh, times minus the i right times minus i3 okay so i will have 4 over 3 times minus and minus becomes positive so i'll have 7.5 e to the minus 40 okay that will be 2.5 and so i will have v 0 t is equal to 10 e to the minus 4 and the unit here will be 4, okay, and this is V0T. And lastly, we need to find out Vx. Vx is here, we can just use a voltage divider. So Vxt, Vxt is equal to 1 over 4 of V0T. Okay, 1 over 4. V0t is just 10 e to the minus 40. So Vxt is equal to 2.5 e to the minus 40. The unit here will be volt, and I think we have found all the question that is asked by the problem. Okay, hopefully this will help you solve this problem, 7.23. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.